Hey guys, how we doing? Hello everybody. Joe here. Evan. Uh, I just want to say thanks again to you guys because we were just talking about this. Last week was nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it completely changes the show. And no spoilers happened. No for spoilers anybody. happened. It, you know, it goes to show that we we did a pretty all right job of calling these characters. A couple of things we called, but also just a real shout out to the people watching. Any yeah. number of people who could have spoiled a lot for us, and nobody came close. Any one of you guys. In fact, they completely gaslit gaslit us. <laughs> gaslit yeah gaslit us all the way through because it's like maybe tahani and yeah. chidi don't belong there yes they do okay they do <laughs> yeah. all you therapists out there yeah. gaslighting's fine it's like gaslighting <laughs> works um, you know you think you're susceptible to it any last thoughts uh because we, we could spend a half hour talking about we the, could. the finale and, and and how the show changes right we it, we know we're getting a bit of a reset right they're going to yeah. start they're starting over Quite literally a reset, but yeah, yeah. but with dramatic irony right there is no real reset because we know yeah we know they're in the bad place we know what michael is now and what sure. the setup is so it's not really a reset on the show no because we know what it is the going comes, forward at least what they're showing us yeah the tension comes from them trying to find one another and figure it out again us knowing what we absolutely know. it's a completely different show regardless of the fact <laughs> they're going back to square one uh as far as thoughts go, um, well, I, I wonder. I want to rewatch the first season and see how obvious it was. <laughs> yeah, because we missed that. There are people who said in comments that there was there were little tiny subtle things that let yes. you. Know. First off, the fact that it was all frozen yogurt and there was no ice cream anywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's like a bit of a yogurt. clue. I, I, I do like it, but I do too. But I want some sausage. Yeah, you know I mean? why not have ice cream? Do you need healthy food? Is there a Haagen Dazs? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you, do you need healthier options? You're dead. <laughs> it's <laughs> not like you're watching point. your waistline. I know, and uh, I, there were clues, <laughs> tons of clues, and even in that last episode when you first see. His plans laid out. It says the good place in quotations. Right, the quotations. Someone says. I didn't even think about that. I did not either. Um, so you know, good for them. Um, there is one thing I, I did want to give a lot of credit to the writers on that we didn't really talk about last week. Thinking back on it, you know, yeah. Um, Sanjay, I think might have been his name. Um, the kind of smiley guy who was <laughs> with helping the book. out. He pops in with the book, right? That, that that's the fun setup. Is like. Us, like I'm sure everyone watching the show reading it was like, there's got to be a loophole, yeah. right? That, that lets them all stay, right? They have to come up with a loophole sure. because an emotional appeal is not going to work with Sean. Mm. And what's funny is that's what the setup was. They have Sanjay pop in and say, hey, guys, I found the loophole. <laughs> like, that's the direction the plan was going to go. Yeah. But um, uh, Eleanor was like, get out of here. We got this figured out, <laughs> uh, which was which was really great because it's the writers knowing we're all thinking there's a loophole, right? They set it up to where thinking, so they're like, yeah. they, they like had the loophole come in, like, Haha, you guys thought this is the way we were going. Yeah, it was it was totally self awareness of the writers to know how we're sitting here trying to figure I out love their how show. They can get the show. Absolutely, I mean, it was it was such brilliant writing and construction, and it made me frustrated at first because I was like, Eleanor, no, listen to Sanjay. You know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> yeah, listen course. to it, please. You know, but um, the fact that she was much more savvy than we are, I mean, that's just uh, yeah. Eleanor's a genius, by the way, because I that that is you know we we had questions about Chidi and Tahani based on, you know, kind of clues about who they seem to be in their past lives. Sure. But we had no idea what the actual payoff Talk was as, as far as, I oh, bye, we're in the bad, we're, we're in the bad place. Wait, what? You know, yeah. that, that got me so off guard. It was really hell, Mary, because what, what, what if it wasn't really the bad place? You know what I mean? And she was just like, no, nah, we're fine. Me and Chidi. And they were just like, okay. <laughs> well, I, I think the simple fact, that, you know, kind of what that shows is, is, you know, Eleanor, you know, kind of makes fun of the fact that she was a bad student and she went to Arizona State University, which I don't understand why, but Arizona State is a punchline in television and movies a it lot. Really is, like it? it's a bad school. Like I know, da I know Daniel Tosh did a lot of making fun of Arizona State he did. with some of this stuff. But I, maybe it's just because it's a party school. It must be, right? So every and, school's and, a party school. <laughs> right. And, you know, for the uh, most part. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of like Florida. I think Arizona yeah. gets kind of a Florida. Uh, reputation a little bit fair sure. or unfair sure no hate for florida or arizona although it's way too hot in both sometimes um, <laughs> all the time <laughs> <laughs> right but her street smarts are what really won the day there you know right. what i mean yeah she she, smarts, yeah. she may not be you know educated or a serious learner or student even though she she did pick stuff up from Jean. but there's an education there but, but yeah but i i just think her situational awareness is is top notch. Oh, completely. I mean, Chidi is a is a much more educated an actual man. Genius. Yeah, he's an actual genius, and he didn't catch on to what to 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 the reality. She did. No, and somebody also uh, pointed out on Patreon that they think Chidi's OCD. It's possible because he's yeah. just all over the place, right? Yeah. He he gets distracted really easily. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's absolutely possible. It's not just his indecisiveness, yeah, or that he weighs too many options of the world. He might just 
yeah, he could, he could be suffering from OCD. Yeah, he could he could just be easily distracted. Um, well, we're not therapists, so anything we said there that we technically got wrong, we're sorry. Yeah, uh, sorry. We're, we have no formal training or anything. It's just you two. <laughs> right. Uh, we do want to go ahead and welcome Amy B., Elizabeth Gates, Flavio Ramalho, I think, Fozzy Alamari, Stephanie Bedworth, Mai, Surab, Kate Rearson, and Zebi to our Patreon group. And I'm sorry for those names I got wrong, but... We're very happy you're here with us. Thank you, guys. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you want the like button for us, leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we have coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full -length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. On all shows we're watching, including The Good Place, we're four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube. Um, you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. So I'm sorry for those of you who get very frustrated with that. <laughs> we'll find out we're uh, not hiding it that's why we're just goes to show you shouldn't skip this part of the video because you know yeah. that you know going in yeah uh, we're also watching 30 rock right now as a patreon exclusive and we finished uh schitt's creek and are starting dairy girls we are and loving that so far confidence mikey project confidence. mikey i don't know why that's funny mikey there he is how's it going boss man i won't let you down i think you will i think this entire project <laughs> is stupid and doomed to fail <laughs> so do you think him stressing out about being retired was actually real? Yes, with the sinkhole and all that? I, I do. Obviously, the eventual goal is to get them to torture each other. But first, we're going to create some nice individual torment. I feel like I got real Eleanor. Like, I got her, you know? Okay, so it's like actors. Yeah. yeah. You need to get Eleanor drunk at the welcome party. So she will say and do a bunch of bad stuff. There are going to be days when you're just sick of being around these disgusting humans with their weird, gross little mouths. <laughs> oh my god. So, torture on three. Ready? One, two, three. Torture! I like how this is like... Ten <laughs> I like how this kind of sets up the idea that people are just really good at torturing themselves. And that's yeah. why human life is misery, is we just torture ourselves. That's a great point. That's yeah. the point of the next season, I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah he has a gear. What are you up to? <laughs> oh, hey there, Michael. Try to keep him apart. Yeah. yeah. The work you did as an environmental activist was just extraordinary. How long do you think it's going to take her to figure it out? I don't know this time, you know? There's no way it's going to be the whole season, no right? No way. No way, no chance. Maybe two, three episodes tops. Yeah. I was just hoping that you could say a few words at tonight's welcome party, you know, just to introduce yourself. So, long story That's short, awesome. my heart is in the pulp. My liver's in the Dalai Lama. I'll tell you something, just soulmate to soulmate. Hold that thought. I'm going to head to the gym. So, so every time she's going to confess, that's his move to keep her from talking yeah. about it. You must be Eleanor. I'm Jessica, the host. Hi. So she got the mansion. She did. She did. Yeah. So where's the honey? Liquid courage. It's a big one. Actually, yeah. uh, you know what? I think I need to keep a clear head. She also seems nicer. Yeah. A little more rational. How about a margarita? No, I'm good. <laughs> Actually, I'm the best. According to the sash. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if, like, she got like some of it rubbed off on that's her. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she seems smarter. She's a different person. Yeah. Somebody pointed out on on Patreon that uh, he says what better than anybody. He really does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Chidi. All, all the great philosophers in history ended up in the bad place. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Right. It's like the picture of Doug. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so your soulmate situation is a little unusual. Oh no. I don't have one, do I? No, no, it's not that you don't have a soulmate. It's that you have multiple soulmates. Oh, okay. yeah, it's really going to torture him. Oh, you're right. That makes sense because yeah. he can't decide anything. It's a rare occurrence. Or someone on the internet saying, you know what? You've convinced me I was wrong. I want to start doing that on the internet now. You've convinced me I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Time they wouldn't know totally. what to do. Yeah perfectly with either Angelique or Pepita. So, figure it out. Should be fun. So, making decisions isn't necessarily my strong suit. Buddy, you gotta trust me. I would never place you in a painful situation. Danton is really crushing this transition, he isn't is, he? He is, man. 
Yeah, I guess a lot of the residents here love it. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder what type of pizza they have in the bad place, huh? <laughs> Hawaiian pizza, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> I had to say who I sort of immediately bonded to. I kind of feel like my soulmate is... Hey! Hey! That Pedro is Angelique's soulmate and Chidi, your soulmate is Pavita. <laughs> oh, man, this setup is so good. That's so evil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do I feel like red or white? Oh. No, Deep man. down in your heart of hearts, you probably already know which one you are. <laughs> Just shut your mouth, smile at me, and walk over here. Okay, you're definitely my least favorite person I've met so far. <laughs> at the end of this two-part episode that we they find They out. may not go that far, yeah. Zen master guy gave me this magic bracelet thing and then he just ran away <laughs> the bracelet Something looks like strange a gear is going oh, which i wonder what it is you know what i mean yeah i love a good mcguffin could be nothing yeah i don't think so i don't think it's that random sure come on it's a Chekhov's gear yeah, yeah. you're in the good how did jason get it you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a surprise <laughs> <laughs> That was good. What a surprise. <laughs> and charmed to meet you is just an unfortunate Freudian short. <laughs> <laughs> All my short kings out there, we stay up. Well, How much taller she is. It certainly yeah. is quite quaint. So it's just yeah. fun. <laughs> At times, it felt like Camila's songs were curing the malaria for us. Oh, wow. They've really set her up. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my god. You alright, my dear? Yes. He's wearing ill fitting jeans and a denim jacket. <laughs> Summer ass. Michael, hello. Yes, I'm having a splendid time. But guess what? This is the good place. If you want your house to be larger, then just ask. Oh, I know, I know. How about a moon? Would you like to live on your own private moon? No, no. no. It's, oh my god. That was a little passive aggressive. It really was. Twinsies? I'm sorry? Look! Cargo pants buddies! I was a garbage man in Winnipeg. How about you? We'll go Manitoba. Yeah. I'm Tahani. Tahani and me. And even though I wasn't the number one point getter. It's your first time ever wearing a sash? Yeah, it is. But I think if we all just... Well, save it for me then. Oh no! It's interesting how they switched it completely, yeah. yeah. Would you prefer to remain silent here as well? <laughs> Who is he going to get paired up with? I know. Um, Jianyu, uh -oh. let me introduce you to your soulmate, Luang. He is also a Buddhist monk because you'll always be right next to each other for eternity. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad for him. That's the worst of the four. Yeah. I feel like I'd just be like, nope. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, this isn't happening. Nope. Oh, it's the gear from his bike. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Helen, what are you up to? Oh. I could not eat. Hello, I, I'm with you. I could not make spirits. any amount of time. Can I this. offer you two something to drink? Uh, Janet, two yaks milks, please. Enjoy. Oh, oh no. Oh, that looks so gross. It's like eggnog. Yeah. yeah. So, you ever see people drink buttermilk? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it spit right back out, Jason. Yeah. <sighs> that was like back in the old days. Buttermilk. <sighs> it's not sweet. No, it's gross. Yeah. You have a cat, and that's cool. I took this job. <laughs> that's that's so <laughs> fun. I got to break Chidi's heart like 20 times, and it was great. I want to live. This is supposed to be the good place. Why would you? Yeah. Okay. The, the note <laughs> you showed me before. All right. This is from a book called What We Owe to Each wow. Other. That's that's okay. good. I didn't yeah. catch that. Somehow, but we know each other. And we can't build a chaos sequence out of Tahani's speech because she thinks she belongs here. That's Deep. true. Everyone in this room. Find those four humans! Yeah. Does that mean that I'm not supposed to be here? I don't know. Yes, yeah, actually. Were you a good person on Earth? 
I thought he, the philosopher thing was going to click. Yeah, with him. No, it's yeah. always the almond milk. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because you were nice to me. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if they just like don't get married again. I don't know if they fall in love. I did too. Again. I like yeah. that. I like that aspect a lot. Yeah. Chidi, uh, allow me to escort you back to your house. Oh. Uh, hello, all. Sorry for the late hour, Eleanor. They're all back together anyway. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> Ever since I got here, it feels like something's been off. I'm worried <laughs> sick about you. Okay. She's picking up on it already. Yeah. I'm not spending a nice. second with this loser. He said he was going to be my best friend, but he is not. Can I guess? You've been worried sick about me. She's figuring this out already. I'm headed to the gym. I don't know what this place is, but it is certainly not the good place. <laughs> it took one episode, okay, yeah. I'm relieved. At least there's an explanation for why this all went south so fast. That's not gonna work this time, dummy. Whoa! <laughs> Already? Well, okay. Yeah. As humans like to say, third time's the charm. <laughs> a little groan. Yeah. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, that is. That is so no creepy. Notes. Eleanor got completely drunk last night, talked for like an hour, you know, even flashed somebody. So we, we had a lot to work <laughs> with. There will be no attempt number three. So he doesn't even know. Yeah. Nope. Okay. All right. So that's interesting. Sean doesn't even know. Two. Yeah, or three. Uh, that's a really interesting dynamic. So he's just gonna, sure. he, he can possibly re keep resetting and just yeah. not tell Sean. Yeah. Didn't even consider it, that. It, it would be funny if this just went on and on and on. And <laughs> at some point, it's, it's going to be kind of like Groundhog Day, you yeah. know? Yeah. To where it's like, oh, they, man. Like, they don't even know how many times it happens. I love that. I, I, would, I, uh, I, I always love a good Groundhog Day esque movie. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of its own subgenre at this point. It and, is. And some of them are, are lame. Um, I like Palm Springs. I like Palm Springs quite a bit. Yeah. Andy Sandberg. Obviously, yeah. uh, Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow is great. Banger. Yeah. Amazing movie. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really interesting. It, it's like Groundhog Day with a twist, I guess. It, For sure, it, it's not quite that. But um, it was interesting to see that, like how from the get go, it just didn't work. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, and I wonder if like they considered that while writing this season. They're like, well, we can't just do the same thing over again. No, for sure, it's not fresh. Right. You know, and so it, it, I wonder if they tried it out. If they right. if they started writing season two, they're like, okay. The setup we had in this episode was how they're going to proceed going forward, and they were just like, eh, "Yeah, I mean, can't really, figure that out." You know yeah. I mean? So the fact that we have this dynamic is much more interesting. You know what I mean? It, it's such a different show now. Yeah. In that, that we're kind of behind the curtain now. Yeah. With everything, um, and now it's going to be like, how does the how does this this, this group of four people keep sure. keep blow, keep up blowing this open? And I really feel like. Jason was the big catalyst of it really <laughs> unraveling. Yeah. The dumbest person in the cast. Yeah. Um, although Eleanor's soulmate, go to the gym guy here, is kind of be in the running for, the for, gym. for dumbest people there. Uh, <laughs> Wait, nine times. Yeah. Wait, nine. Um, yeah, I, I like the direction of the show. There, there were some comments, and these aren't, I don't consider these spoilers at all, but someone's like, oh, great, you guys made it to the first really big twist. So I'm like, well, this obviously is a show that, I, yeah. and honestly, I wouldn't have expected it. Like, okay, here's the new reality for the show, sure. and that's what it's going to be for three seasons. Yeah. No way. I think the show's going to get blown up many times. I do too, and I don't I don't want to predict what the twists are. Um, I, the fact I that we know that there is one is cool, but like, we didn't see the last one coming. No. So I doubt we'll see the second one coming. <laughs> no. Um, also, I like how they kept – they're keeping the mystery element sort of still, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like uh, we don't know what's going to happen next. We, really, we still don't. I mean, like, they reset the third time, but the note's gone now. Right. How do they come together again? Sure, you know? absolutely. Uh, because, I mean, even without the note, Eleanor seems to have been a, a changed person, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Tahani's much more honest now, too. She's not going to fake it. She sure. does not like her situation. Sure. Even Jason, like you said, I mean, he really did. Like he was the catalyst there. He did save the day. Absolutely, he did. Uh, Chidi's more decisive. Yeah. They're just different people. So yeah, the, I, I, yeah. I think the idea that they erased their memories, but erasing their memories didn't really change who they fundamentally became as people. Yeah. Um, which which kind of makes sense, right? It's because like that's the whole point of the the afterlife here, right? You are who you are based on what you did when you were alive. Yeah. You know, so you're you're kind of like here's the end, and that's where you are. Well, they have a new ending. 
right? <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the new ending is, is Eleanor's a more thoughtful person. Mm-hmm. Jason is a more outgoing person. Chidi is a more decisive person. Yeah. Tahani is a more genuine person. More honest. Yeah. And, and, and so I think just they're just being around each other, even even with that the memory of that kind of getting erased, they are they're fundamentally changed as people. Yeah. You know, from the experience. I'm also wondering if the point system is a real thing. Right? I think so. I just think they're lying to them about what points they had. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I mean it might it might not be. You're right. It could be a micro creation. Because if it is a real thing, I think Eleanor for sure improved her point her her, uh, her points. Right? For sure. Absolutely right. I think in a way they all kind of did. I think they all and did. And I wonder right. if that has something to do with it. If not, I'm just wrong. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, you I, I think you bring up a good point. It is quite possible that the point system of who's a good person and bad person yeah. could have been a complete construct that Michael came up with to say, you know, in, in his version of the good place in quotes, congratulations, we use a point system. To here and here's how you did Which it. Which sounds ridiculous when, right. when you say that, right? I mean, like, it, it, really it, it might be or might not be, but I, I think it still has to be a thing, right? Sure. Because I think that still that still thematically is an important part of the show. Yeah. And in the point system highlights how do we really track what makes a good person versus a bad person? Yeah. So I think the point system is still important because of that, right? The idea sure. of is Eleanor truly a bad person? Well. I think she's a better person than Mindy was. And Mindy, you know, they made the argument was a medium person. Yeah. But Mindy says, don't go back and help everybody. And I was like, no, I'm going back and helping yeah. everybody. Well, Mindy's not real. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. so as well. But just their idea of it, right, is yeah. that, you know, you're you're uh, you're clearly a bad person. And I, I think we can make a case for all four of them, including Jason, mm-hmm. right, who, who got better at this point. Um, but that's not necessarily the case, you know. Sure. You, you meet. You meet Chidi, and you, you know, even though Chidi is an indecisive person who maybe didn't do good works throughout his life, does that mean he deserves to suffer? No, I don't think so. I, I think he's so. a good guy that just had this, you know, problems of making decisions, especially if it's OCD. Yeah, exactly. I mean, going to help her having OCD. Yes, I mean, like, seriously, right? It's awful. <laughs> and, and and I think that's part of it, right? It's like, oh, this this person is a bad person. Well, why are they a bad person? Well, uh, because you know, this these horrible things happen to them, or they grew up with 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 these detriments that they couldn't overcome. But he has a backstory. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, you know, privilege is a thing, you yeah. know, and, and, and the, the, there's one thing we can kind of see is that at least with Eleanor and with Jason, they didn't have that kind of privilege. They didn't have a great upbringing. Maybe Cheedy did. Um, it, hard to say because his, you're right, he could, he could actually have a, a psychological condition that kind of impairs his decision making abilities. Sure. Oh, um, and yeah, Tahani grew up with incredible privilege, but she also grew up in a very large shadow yeah, of her sister with, with yeah. terrible with terrible parents. Yeah. You know, um, judgy, judgy, awful parents. Yeah. So, you know, you're a product of your environment. Everybody's a product of their of their experiences for sure. I I I hope that that's not something that the show moves away from. I don't think it will because I think I think, I think it's a really important part of, of what the show is. Yeah. Are you a good person or a bad person? And what got you there? Yeah. What What did you have versus what you didn't have? You know, <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah. And. Just for fun's sake, I really hope that we see Adam Scott again. Oh, for sure. I do not want to be done with Trevor in any way. Trevor is my, my favorite character. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a lot of fun. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.